all the way back in the end to Selwood from Shuey. And Rosa again, they've worked this beautifully. Shuey on well, the lead, and that is out of the copybook to Kennedy. Well, exactly right, Dwayne. That was a training drill. They worked it very hard and uh, very well in congestion back on the logo centre wing, and some nice hands through the centre corridor, then just lace out past to Kennedy. And they've got a big forward line, and they're mobile as well. They are, and it's exactly what we highlighted before the game, Lynchy, in terms yep. of, yes, their pressure's great, but their use going forward has been very good, and that's what's been able to set them up, and they've started well again in that area. Josh Kennedy is proof for kids out there that you need a routine before you kick. Doesn't really matter what your routine <laughs> is. If it works, it works. And his works. Just pops it up. Butler again. Easy mark. Prittis. Another easy inside 50 to Kennedy. Two grabber. Yeah, they've got a lot of potency. The kicking efficiency for the Dogs is at 36%, so they just can't get it outside of that uh, defensive 70 that they've got set up, and uh, the press from the West Coast Eagles is very good. And conversely, they're operating at a very high kicking efficiency, and they've got big targets that can take a grab like that. Already kicked one. Takes a breath, and that is something that full forwards like to do, get their heart rate down again. Use the full 30 seconds, although I think that's creeping up to about 40 these days again. There's the routine, and there's the result. It's a church full of believers at Patterson Stadium right now. Good hands again. And they're away with it. Kennedy gives it up. Shuey, a sidestep, sizes them up, goes the pass. Kennedy from behind the two puck. He's paid it. Kennedy he didn't, didn't think, think he was he going to be paid. <laughs> Kicks the goal regardless. He's got three. Tough on that so far in this game, the umpires. Cox is out by himself. Schofield looks up, sits it up. Cox still on his own. And Kennedy. Oh. Yeah, can't get it over the top. Now he does. Very dexterous. Kennedy Ross strolls in. And number four for the quarter for Josh Kennedy. Scott Selwood, Darling, uses some strength, sides his way through. Selwood sits it up. Kennedy can't get it. Yes, he can. I thought he was blocked, but he got there. He's getting to a lot of contests now, and there's another very good mark. He'd done a lot of work off the ball, and just those last couple of steps to get into the front position and take a very strong grab. There's plenty happening off the ball as well, and Nikoski and Pickham were into it, but that's where it did all the hard work about two or three metres back to get rid of his direct opponent. Williams had the front spot, but he felt for contact. Kennedy just ran straight past him, and he kicks number five. Cool. And if you elect to just Fine. grab it and go to ground, Embley threw some traffic to full forward. Uh, too strong. He is unstoppable, Josh Kennedy. Well, I say too strong, but the kick was very much to advantage as well for Kennedy, so it was hard... Uh, for the Bulldogs uh, defender down there to push back against Kennedy, push him out of the road. Being pushed around on the angle. This is for number six to equal his best ever haul, Josh Kennedy. Opens it up a little and drives it through. And we've got a half and change to come. Lynch and Kennedy, both forward. Kennedy floats into it. Lynch kept his feet. Just couldn't collect it and give it to Darling. And that's not ball. He just got a toe on it. Darling Deep. peeling back Kennedy. He's turned Markovic. He's in position 1A. Well, it was, an absolute, it was a fantastic kick from Jack Darling. That's where all the credit's got to go. I mean, if in that position where Josh Kennedy was, realistically, it's a lay down Mazzera as far as taking a contested mark. He just had to hold his direct opponent out and took a pretty easy chest mark, but fantastic kick from Darling. Well, Lacroix was the last West Coast Eagles player to kick a big bag. He kicked 12. Kennedy might be on the way there. He's got seven. They love him, the crowd, and he is becoming oh, a very, go. very good player. Everywhere. Shuey again. Nat Nui's on the lead. Shuey, sidestep, runs to 50, just pokes it to the hot man. 
Kennedy again. This for number eight. Well, that was train drill stuff again. Sure, he was out by himself by 30 or 40 metres out in the wing. And we see here's the Nick Natanui uh, Shepherd on Morris. That's great team play. That's football now, too, that's growing. It is. Nick Natanui. It certainly is an awareness. But then Shuey's passed. He just chipped that over the top of uh, Morris to Kennedy. Lines up for number eight. So for number eight, there's the skip steps. The routine that seems to pay so many dividends. Eight goals. His best ever day at the office. And there's plenty of time for more. He's been very good. good. Yeah, and he'll finally play Matt Rosa as Lynch takes the mark. His 100th game in a few weeks in his seventh Kennedy. season. Kennedy! OK for number nine. I wonder if there's a couple of little extra skips in this one <laughs> as a nerves build for number nine. Uh, freedom of mind. <laughs> There's no doubt that the big Q saw that it was Kennedy leading at him because Cox was in the goal square in a, in a pretty good matchup one on one. Four goals in the opening term, two goals in the second term, two goals in the third. Kennedy. Got it. There's number nine. Cox, the flick down. Ebert, the beneficiary, gang tackled and gets free somehow. Got a handball up. Lacra, Kennedy's lurking. He's on the move and he's got yeah, it. Yes, for Mark or downfield. Doesn't for matter. For number 10, Josh Kennedy realises this is his moment. Uh, that was a good mark in the end. It was free kick paid down the field, but a very good mark for the, after the late contact here, or high over the shoulder, and slammed into the ground. But uh, juggling mark from Kennedy. He hasn't gone very far back. It'll be a long launch from outside 50. A hush falls over Patterson Stadium. The crowd sense the moment. The stutter steps. The big long ball. Long. Number 10. Six goals, 19, 175. They have handed the Western Bulldogs a football lesson. 8 4, 52. Their highest ever score against the Dogs. Their biggest ever winning margin against the Dogs. And Josh Kennedy, an amazing day at the office. His 10 goals, 3 is the highest ever score kicked by a West Coast Eagle here. At Subiaco, one behind better than Scott Cummings, 10 goals, two. Let's go downstairs, Glenn Jakovic. Thanks very much, Drano. Well, I've got the man of the moment, 10 goals, Joshi. That must be very satisfying. Oh, it's a great win. It's a great win. Just tell us, uh, I mean, the Bulldogs came over here, big expectations, but these guys certainly the real deal now. Oh, look, you know, we've been working on a lot of things these last few weeks and it's been our pressure and, um, you know, we didn't want to drop off. We usually started well, but sometimes we were starting to drop off a bit. So we, uh, we held that pressure through the whole game and obviously we got the result. Your combination up forward, uh, Quentin Lynch, another good game, uh, Jack Darling and Mark Lacroix back to form, but uh, you're just your structure. You just look so potent down there. Yeah, look, the boys are firing and, um, you know, it all comes from our mids and our backs who are putting that pressure on, turning the ball over, and then it's coming back in quickly. So um, it's easy for us on the lead because, yeah, they're putting the pressure on and it's coming back in. I just happened to notice uh, in the last quarter there, Mark Lecrae, he wasn't trying to pass the ball to you because his uh, 12 goals uh, was under threat. Yeah, well, he actually he wanted, me, he wanted me to go further, but he said as soon as you get any close to 12, just stop, eh? Well done, mate. Enjoy the win. Good stuff.